Hi, this is Mike at Balsamic, and today I'm going to do a design iteration on the Balsamic Cloud landing page to add our pricing information near the call to action. So let's get started. All right, so let's take a look at what we're designing here. We have a landing page for Balsamic Cloud, uh, which is our web app, and we have two calls to action, one at the top where you can sign up. There's a link to view plans, and then we have at the bottom of the page uh, another call to action uh, with another sign up form. And currently um, in the app, we have a dialogue that shows pricing information um, when you're creating a new cloud space. So we got some great feedback from customers in our beta. Um, we kind of put the pricing information here to start and it is kind of a wall of text. So we wanna take this out of here, simplify this form and put all that information just up front when you're reading about the landing page. The landing page didn't exist before the app, so it makes sense to move it over here. Okay, so now I'm gonna open up our wireframes for the landing page and make some quick changes to that bottom section. This is um, this has already changed from um, where we implemented the, uh, the landing page, and there's a bunch of stuff here that needs to change, but I just wanna figure out um, you know, where, where the pricing information should go and get um, the team to just uh, review what we want to do here. Um, so what I'm doing is um, just changing the bottom section. I'm not going to worry about the top. Um, so I'm going to quickly just go through here, change the text to reflect uh, what it looks like now, and then, you know, do the main part here, which is to um, figure out where the pricing information should go and I think it should go in our um, our red arrow shape there this little this chevron hold on a second let me just center this guy so I think it should go just right above the form so where we say sign up for a free 30-day trial um, we want to put the plan information right below there so what I'm doing here is just moving everything down this is from a previous idea we were working on um i'm going to transform this to take this icon out because this is something that we simplified so it's just going to be text uh, i'm going to remove this underline here and let's see what we use now we say sign up quickly with your Google authentication. Okay, so this now says sign up quickly with Google authentication. This is a link. So I'll just use this markdown for the brackets here. Um, and then I can make this wider. Okay, that should be fine. Make it centered. Okay, so these guys will be at the bottom. And then I'm going to just, um, just make a box here to sort of um, create that section, the big red section. And I'm going to just create a text block. So uh, let's see, I'm just holding down T for now to get this scribbled text, block of text in there, um, just to lay this out a little bit. Actually, no, I'm going to, I'm going to do the text for each of these blocks and then uh, duplicate that instead. That way I get the font sizing for each of them. So this is what it looks like. The table has um, the number of projects in the, uh, as a heading for each column and then the price and some detailed information about what you get for that plan. Um, that's what it looked like in the dialogue. I'm going to copy this out and then put this text. Once you select that um, quick drawn block of text and start editing, it converts your text into the real text here. So what I did was just uh, started editing there. Um, you could just use the markdown here instead of putting in a different control. Um, you don't need to do that. You could just, let's do it the other way. That's because this is probably a less common way of doing things, but Okay, start over. Let's see, put another block of text here, right? And then 
made this larger, I'm gonna just use command right angle bracket to make this about 28. Should be smaller than this heading here. And then I'm going to make this bold, something like that. Probably would make that larger as well. This whole thing could be larger. Let's make it 16. Um, and then I'll probably make this text somewhat larger than this. I'm gonna pull this out actually, because I wanna center the price and the, the number of projects. I'm gonna make both of these guys centered. So now um, I want to just duplicate this twice so that we have three columns, right? And then I'm going to align, let's right click and then align these to the top and then distribute the centers. Oh, it's already distributed um, because the duplicate does that. I give it more space. Um, that looks decent. So then now I'm just gonna jump ahead and fill in the text for all of the different plans here. All right, so I'm jumping ahead here, but um, I went through the uh, all these boxes, filled in all the plan information, um, and we're just going to call it um, done for now, and then we're going to review this with um, team, make sure that um, we understand what needs to be implemented. I think we're, you know, I'm just going to go probably put in some of this um, styling in, in the design. Uh, comp, but you know, basically there's just some, uh, I might as well do it now. <laughs> there's some um, text formatting that we did here. All right, so that's that's all basically. And then we'll uh, probably just um, put this into Sketch, uh, our visual, the design tool that we use for visual uh, design, um, and then get a sense of what it should look like when we implement it in the code. So we'll be back after that. All right, I just pinged Peldy to take a look at um, the pricing information added to the wireframe. Um, looks like he's taking a look at it now. Um, so I can see his avatar. So I'm just gonna let him know that, um, you know, this is going to be in the, be in the red section above the call to action. Oh. <laughs> cool, so he's good with it. So um, I'm just gonna go make this work in Sketch and then um, see what it should look like there. Okay, so I opened up Sketch and this is the uh, the design we have for the landing page and um, you know we only have some minor modifications to this since we implemented it so I can work with what we have here the bottom parts pretty much um, the same as what we had so let's just put the pricing table in here and see uh, what it should look like what I am going to do now is just expand this little arrow chevron area. So I'm just going to make some space for the pricing table. Um, and then I need to move everything in the footer down as well as this call to action. I also need to change my artboard. So I'm going to Let's just make this artboard longer first. And then I'm gonna grab the call to action and the footer. Um, footer has a background. Call to action, that's the background for there. All right, let's see what happens if I select the right thing. I did not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, hmm. All right, that's there. So I don't want this whole box, but I do want just this part to move down. 
Nice. Okay, there I got it. So then I also need to grab this little background graphic that I have, which I believe is, uh, let's see, is it this thing? Yeah. That guy. All right, so I'm going to grab that guy too. And let's move this guy down. All right, so now we have, we're just doing this little overlap of the smiley face here. And then, okay, I think that should be enough space. Might not be, but let's start with that. Um, let's go back to the wireframe now. And what do we got to change? This should say, want to give it a try. So let's change that. I'm doing Command Shift Option V to paste without style. Um, then I'm gonna take this table here. So I'm gonna do a sketch. Actually, I'll just take this entire thing and style each part of that. So I'm gonna do a text box here. I'm gonna insert a text box. I'm holding T down here in Sketch. Um, I am going to make this small text here, um, 16, so 16 point, it's really tiny here, but that's because I'm really zoomed out. Um, and then we're going to make this say 21, which was, what's that, project, okay. Um, make it 28 and then I'm gonna make the, you know, the number of uh, the price information I'm gonna make that like 21 and this text will be 26 and then I'm gonna left align this text here all right so this is close to what we had before and I didn't make enough space for my little background, so hold on, and I'll make this quick change. Okay, I'm back again. Um, it's kind of boring just to watch me move that around again, so I'm just gonna, I just did that real quick. And I'm going to, so I, so I decided to try to make these, um, the number of projects in the plan bold just to make it a uh, little bit more visible. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the, the layout grid here just so I can see what this is supposed to, where it's supposed to fit in the grid. And I have um, three, boxes that I need to fit into a 12 column grid so um, I want to make this fit into four each uh, and let's see if this works I'm gonna do 
going to duplicate this. And then put that there. Um, and looks all right. So I'm just going to copy, go back to the wireframe and copy the text for each of the projects and be right back again. Okay, so that's a good start. I just want to do a little bit more cleanup around this area to um, align things a little better and create some separation between the elements. Um, you know, borrowing some of these elements of the, the, uh, the design, I'm going to just take this border um, and use it to sort of block out each of the columns. Um, okay, a little border uh, above each column is what I'm after. So I'm going to move this text block up. I'm going to duplicate the border for each of the columns. And then move the columns up since I took away that top border. And let's see what we got here. So I want to move all of this, all of this up a bit. I don't want to move the heading. Oops. I want to give it a try. Where is that? Okay, I don't want that. So I want these three. I should really group these, but I'm going to be lazy and just move these up. Um, Okay, that looks pretty decent. So let's um, I might play. I might tone down the um, borders a little bit, but this keeps it somewhat simple. Um, it's already kind of popping out a lot because it's uh, reversed on this huge block of red background. Um, I mean, the whole point of this chevron shape is just to keep the 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 reader moving down until they get to the um, you know call to action and the pricing information here so I think we're going to try that for now we might um, you know work on that a little bit okay so here it is at a hundred percent I think this should work for now uh, it's pretty simple um, we'll uh, share it with uh, the team and Stefano will implement it in our landing page and we might do some more iterations from there but um, this will be a good start. Thanks for watching, um, and especially if you stuck around to the end to watch it get implemented in uh, visual design. Bye.